All right, so we originally made a hole for this vent, and they're not going to have this type of floor, so we're going to get rid of it. Getting rid of the hole for the vent. They're going to put uh, wall units in everywhere. Not wall window units, but what do they call them? Things that I have at the house. Outstanding units. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Put in wall units, whatever they call them things. So we're going to take this hole out. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this hole we made for the duct work, which is going to be non-existent. We're taking out the duct work already down through there. They're going to have the type of units that mount to the wall. I have them at my place. I just can't for the life of me remember the name of them. out of there Paul get all the screws out pop that thing up make another one just like it without the hole in it put it right back in Paul you're gonna have to shave you're gonna have to shave people aren't recognizing anymore like I almost didn't recognize Paul <laughs> Let me recognize you. Cool. Oh, now you do see this? Yeah, left huh? hand. Turn you in the incognito. No, he ain't left handed. <laughs> yeah, flat boy over there? Yes, sir. Flat boy is over here. Right, so my friend. I'm glad we're getting rid of them holes. Tell you what, true. Oh, you want to get it ready to rest today? No, I'm going to put it back, push it back in there when we get done. Okay. Yeah. Want salt salt? More hole. No vent holes in this place on the floor because you removed it all. And we forgot about it. Yeah, we forgot. We put a <laughs> hole there, so we had to change out two pieces because it ran into two of them. So it is what it is. Now we'll fill in this. We'll fill in this one piece in front of the door. The door is going to come out. Not today. Probably a lot of rain going to happen today. Looks clear, but they're talking about heavy rain. We're going to put a piece of Vantex underneath that door, raise it up where it's supposed to be. Because they left all the rotten wood underneath it, and that's not the way to do it. So we're going to raise it up and get rid of it. This thing is looking awesome. Awesome. What a difference, guys. What do you think? Can I at least get a thumbs up from somebody? And if this is the kind of work you like to see, um, hit that bell notification so you're notified next time I download another video. I'm going to try to do at least one a day. One video per day. When we finish the floor in here, we're going to put a new rubber roof on this one. Just like my other videos show. New rubber roof. Boat has definitely... Definitely, you're losing points. I'm losing points. points. I was doing good. Oh. I was making bonus points, oh. catching stuff. Yeah. So maybe I'm even oh. there. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, hey, you should you would have you shouldn't have been with us the other day. Do what? Paul backed. I told Paul back up trailer right over to there. <laughs> I didn't have and I told him, hey, I said now, I just want to know if you can do it or not. And I asked him, he said he could do it. Next, next thing you know, he shimmied that thing about five times. I had to quit watching. <laughs> I had to quit watching him. Yeah, six times. I got it. <laughs> Lined it right up. 20 feet away. 20 feet away. I still got it. You know. Yeah, we did that. And, uh, and it's great. It's on all on video. Yeah, right? Stuff bubbles down here. Oh, 
Even better. Even better. Come on now, look at the end. Nice finish. For anybody that is wondering how to insulate your floors or the proper way to run your flooring, subflooring on your floor joists. When you buy a trailer, number one, let me show you this. Insulation, R13. We only have three and a half inches here on these outside edges. We put a new underbelly. You've seen that before previous video r13 down here at the bottom new underbelly we put a r19 down here in the bottom and there's the only two pipes of, or anything that so far we've seen run under this house is them two pipes right there which is the water pipes and they're made of steel and these two gas lines that come up i mean uh, water lines that come up from that and that's going to be their sink Okay, back to the plywood or the sheeting. When you install sheeting on your floor, you want it to run crosswise this way, not lengthwise this way, okay? So you don't go every four feet and run a piece of sheeting. You run it the way we're running it here. In a mobile home, what makes it so confusing is when you tear up your floor, you see that they ran their OSB from side to side. That's because their OSB comes four feet wide by however wide they want to make it. Because it's prefab stuff, you can make it any length you want it. Mobile home places are the only people I know that get away with making these pieces. So somebody came in here because they had a floor problem. And see what they did? Yes, they used beautiful, beautiful Adventec um, flooring, which is also looks like OSB, but it's not the same as OSB. This is actually built to a higher standard with a lifetime warranty. If you take a piece of OSB and throw it out in your yard, Give it a couple weeks and it's not going to look the same. It's going to start swelling up if you have any moisture or whatever. So these people seen them run this stuff this way and thought, oh, that must be the way to do it. So they tried to do a repair on their floor that way. It's just not the proper way to do it. So if you want to know how to run your flooring, it goes like this. Even if you take out a piece of this, like that big, you're gonna to wanna to run it the other way because this way is gonna end up probably causing squeaks. It just doesn't give you any strength on your outside edges. So I don't like it. So if you're gonna run flooring, run it that way and make sure you heavily insulate. R19 is a good number for under a house. Anyways, just wanted to give you an update on how to run your flooring on or across your floor joists, okay? Right there.
for it. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah. I had a leak from the ceiling here. Go. We're going to see if we can uh, raise that up right there in that corner. You can see where the paneling is buckling down. See where it's buckling? No, it's not buckling. It's wet. It's just wet. Yeah. Oh, look at that stuff. Yeah. It's terrible. It's all in front, eh? yeah, been here for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely going to have to get up underneath that plate. Put some bracing on the inside, huh? Gone, isn't it? Yep, gone. Bottom plate's gone. Yep. It's all right, well. We know how to fix it. We know how to fix it. We sure didn't expect it. Yeah. Golly. I didn't expect a lot of stuff in No, I knew there was going to be a couple things, Paul. Good God. This thing is, uh, whew.